All right, in this quick video, I'll show you how to export control points that you might have collected via GPS or total station or whatever preferred method you have uh, using TopCon's magnet field software and convert it into a format that is useful for importing into a Faro scene, I guess, software environment to place your scans on a control coordinate system. So I have the MJF file which was collected via a data collector in the field with a Hyper SR GPS receiver. We don't have to connect to it, so just hit home. I have a couple of points in here. If I want to just verify that they fell where they needed to, I actually see that my points are on the street. So this is okay. If again, if it's not desirable to have the map background on, you can turn it off and you see that everything's in a blank, uh, on a blank canvas, but I like my map on just for visual purposes. So let me hit home. I want to export uh, these coordinates that we saw in this view into a usable format. Notice my format right here is east, north and elevation. And that's essentially what I want to uh, continue with uh, upon exporting. So I'll go into exchange. I want to exchange those coordinates to a file, so go here. I want to export points. And there's two ways to do this. You can either export a CSV file, which unfortunately uh, does this for you. You can create the file, call it outside control, um, because it inherits the name of the job. We'll hit OK. And it'll just inherit the coordinate system that the job was in. We'll hit OK. It shows that the control uh, was generated. Uh, the problem with this export is that if you open this job or this CSV file uh, just to investigate, and we'll just open it in Excel. So let me do open. All right, so let me open the outside control CSV file. The problem with it is you will notice that Excel, upon importing everything, uh, let's just make these show decimals. There we go. Notice uh, I don't have uh, names to columns, so I don't actually know if it was smart enough to export them in the right order which means when I check, and I want you, anyone who does this needs to check uh, the sequence of uh, coordinates here, but you see that there's a point number in the easting, which is the X value, northing, which is the Y value, and elevation, which is the Z value, should be in this sequence for seem to understand it. So if we look at it here, you can see that those values are wrong. I mean, they're not wrong, but they're in the wrong sequence. So what I have to do is I do have to like swap out these columns. So let me move this over. I'll take this column over here. And then I'll take this column over here. Now I'm not actually changing any coordinates, but at least I changed the sequence of points. And that means this is my X, my easting. This is my Y, my northing. And this is my Z, my elevation. And it's in the same sequence as over here. So when I hit save now, This is now done, which means that when I close it, and let's say we want to reopen it just for fun. And we'll see that the, the underlying uh, spreadsheet now has the coordinates in the right order. Yes, we're missing the actual decimals, but uh, they are there, they're just hidden. Excel is just hiding the decimals, but this is the correct uh, shape that the software afterwards, meaning scene, 
uh, likes the coordinates in. So let me close this. We don't need to save anything, but So when you confirm that you know, these coordinates are what you want out, we can just hit home, close, exit, and now we're ready to start the process of uh, editing or uh, importing these coordinates into C.